to the Center for Communication Excellence at the Iowa State University Graduate College. This video is part of the thesis dissertation formatting tutorial series. In this video, I will explain how to ensure the text in your tables and figures is legible. The Graduate College requires that ISU theses and dissertations comply with the ISU Digital Accessibility Policy. One aspect of this is the legibility of the thesis or dissertation manuscript. Font size and resolution are part of what makes content legible. The font size for body text and other non-graphic texts in theses and dissertations is required to be 12 points. For figures and tables, however, it can be between 8 points and 12 points. In Microsoft Word, you can check whether the font in your figures and tables is at least 8 points. For tables containing editable text, simply click or select the smallest text in the table. Then look at the home ribbon where the font attributes are listed. The font size menu should tell you the size of the font. For figures, it may not be possible to select the text unless the text in the figure was created in Microsoft Word. To check the font size in a figure, you will create a sample text to compare it to. Open the Insert ribbon, then click Text Box. Select Draw Text Box from the drop-down menu. Then, click and drag the mouse to create a text box near the font you want to check. Next, type something into the text box, select the text, and in the Home ribbon, change the font size of that text to 8 points. Now you can position the text box next to the figure text and compare it to check whether the figure text is at least 8 points. Next, I'll demonstrate some tools you can use to adjust the font size in figures and tables in Microsoft Word. It is easy to adjust the font size in an editable table. On the other hand, if your table is formatted as an image, then you can handle it like a figure, which I'll demonstrate next. In an editable table, to adjust the font size, simply select the text that needs to be changed. Then, in the Home ribbon, Use the font size drop-down menu to select a size between 8 and 12 points. In some cases, changing the font size can cause changes in column widths. To ensure that your table does not extend beyond the 1 inch margins required by the Graduate College, select the entire table by clicking the cross above the left edge of the table. Then in the Table Layout ribbon, click Auto Fit and then click Auto Fit Window. This will automatically adjust the left and right edges of the table to align with the page margins. If, after adjusting the table width, the table extends lengthwise onto the following page, use the Splitting Table Tutorial to add a caption and column labels to the second page of the table. Some tables are easier to read with wider columns, in which case the best choice may be to use a landscape page. You can use the Creating Landscape Pages tutorial to insert a landscape page into the document. It is also possible to adjust the font size in a figure. The easiest way is to resize the entire figure. To do this, click on the figure to select it. Open the Picture Format ribbon and then click the dialog box launcher for advanced layout size. The launcher button is a small box with a diagonal arrow at the bottom right corner of the size area. In the size dialog box, make sure that the lock aspect ratio box is checked, then close the dialog box. You can now click and drag the corner of the figure to resize it. You can continue to use the sample text text box to check if the font is within the allowable size range. As with tables, some figures may work better in landscape orientation. You can create a landscape page for this, but it is much easier to simply rotate the figure itself. To rotate the figure, select it, then change the figure position to with text wrapping. Use the rotate menu in the picture format ribbon 
to rotate the figure 90 degrees to the left. This may give you even more space to resize the image. To rotate the figure caption, select the figure caption text. On the insert ribbon, select text box, draw text box. You can now arrange the figure and the caption on the page using the additional space afforded by the landscape orientation to resize the figure. Again, you can use the sample text text box to check whether the font on the figure is large enough to meet the graduate college requirement. In some cases, it is necessary to split figures across two or more pages. If the figure consists of a single image file, you can split it by copying the image to the clipboard, then pasting it right below the original image. Next, Select the original image and open the picture format ribbon. Click crop, then click and drag the black handles to adjust the edges of the image to where you want them. You can then resize the cropped image to increase the font size. Here, I am demonstrating how to crop the figure into three chunks. You might want to crop yours more or less. You can also crop a figure and then rotate it if the parts of the figure would fit better on a landscape page. Split figures, like split tables, need a caption below the figure on the first page where it appears. There should also be captions on all subsequent pages that repeat the label and number and have the word continued. Please watch Captioning Your Figures and Tables tutorial for tips on advanced captioning. Be aware that resizing figures in Microsoft Word can reduce the image resolution, which can make text blurry and illegible. If it is possible to do so, it is often better to edit the font size of a figure in the program where it was originally created. This way, you can simply replace the image in the Word document with one that has the correct font size and clear resolution. Another thing to be aware of is that ProQuest allows authors to submit supplemental files. For tables and figures that simply do not easily fit onto a single page, it may be easier to include them as supplemental files. The Graduate College does not have any formatting requirements for supplemental files, and they are not reviewed by the format reviewer. Nonetheless, it is your responsibility to ensure that your research is accessible, so take the time to check all your supplemental files for issues like text legibility that can cause an accessibility issue. This is the end of the figure and table font size tutorial. Please view other available video tutorials to learn more about formatting your thesis or dissertation using the Word template.